my dear students today we shall discuss pointers i will be discussing pointers which is sufficient enough to understand the concept of linked list a pointer is a variable which can hold the addresses of other variables not only hold which can only hold the addresses of other variables variables all of you know a integer variable can store the uh, can store integer values a float variable can store float uh, values character variable can store characters whereas pointer can store the addresses of these variables for example int a a is an integer variable simple int star b here there is a star before b therefore b is an integer pointer you can just see here in the pointer declaration a star is put just before the pointer in the above example it is star b if it was int b b would have been an integer variable since it is int star b before b there is a star therefore b is considered to be an integer pointer now an integer pointer can store the address of an integer variable very important an integer pointer can store the address of an integer variable here b is an integer pointer therefore it can store the address of any integer variable an integer pointer can store the address of an integer variable similarly a float pointer can store the address of a float variable a character pointer can store the address of a character variable that's how it is yes a float pointer can store the address of a float variable a character pointer can store the address of a character variable an array pointer can store the address of an array and all of you know these basics an integer variable two bytes of memory a float variable four bytes of memory character variable one byte of memory these basics all of you know now pointers stores the address of a variable carefully understand as we know pointer can store the address of a variable and also we know integer pointer can store the address of a integer variable float pointer can store the address of a float variable character pointer can store the address of a character variable all these know all these we know now a pointer stores the address of a variable what is address address cannot be float or characters address address should be integer address is of the type integer and when it is integer it requires only two bytes of memory therefore a pointer is allocated only two bytes of memory deeply understand the sequence here a pointer stores the address of a variable address is of the type integer hence two bytes are allocated for any pointer because integer requires only two bytes therefore for any pointer only two bytes are required for uh, integer pointer two bytes float pointer two bytes character pointer two bytes file pointer 2 bytes array pointer 2 bytes structure any type of pointer only 2 bytes of memory is allocated yes any type of pointer integer pointer float pointer character pointer array pointer file pointer etc is allocated only 2 bytes as it stores the address of the first memory location see a float variable requires 4 bytes it is stored in four different memory location but pointer a float pointer will contain the address of the first memory location and first memory location address is integer therefore it requires only two bytes now let us consider the following declaration here what is a a is an integer variable what is x x is an integer pointer float b comma star y what is b b is a float variable what is y y is a float pointer char c comma star z what is c c is a character variable z is a character pointer and also you can just see a is an integer variable and hence two bytes are allocated to a fine x is an integer pointer and hence two bytes are allocated to x you know any kind of pointer it's only two bytes integer pointer x is an integer pointer and hence two bytes are allocated to x next b is a float variable hence four bytes are allocated to b yes y is a float pointer and hence two bytes are allocated to y any pointer requires only two bytes c is a character variable and hence one byte is allocated to c z is a character pointer and hence two bytes are allocated to z i think this basic is clear for all of you next 
very important note in any computer we can store only one byte in one memory location it could be 8 bit computer 16 bit computer 32 bit computer or 64 bit computer in any type of computer we can store only one byte in one memory location 8 bits in one memory location very important point now i'll consider a chunk of memory uh, starting from 1 2 3 4 just for the sake of demonstration now we will consider the following declaration int a comma star x what is a a is an integer variable so how many bytes are required for a two bytes are required for a yes now you can just see for a two bytes are allocated uh, memory locations 1 2 4 6 and 1 2 4 7 who will allocate memory for a it is the responsibility of the operating system because operating system manages the memory whenever the compiler requests operating system will find two free memory locations and that is allocated now why 1 2 4 6 and 1 2 4 7 only is allocated for a simply meaning operating system will find some two free memory locations and that is allocated to a in this particular case operating system find out found out 1 2 4 6 and 1 2 4 7 free and that is allocated to here that is operating systems decision next int star x x is an integer pointer so how many bytes are allocated for integer pointer 2 bytes yes for x 2 bytes or 2 memory locations 1 2 3 4 and 1 2 3 4 are allocated next float b comma star y b is a float variable how many bytes are required for a float variable 4 bytes Yes, for B, 4 bytes are allocated, 4 memory locations are allocated. 1, 2, 3, 8, 1, 2, 3, 9, 1, 2, 4, 0, and 1, 2, 4, 1. For star Y, it is a float pointer. How many bytes are required? 2 bytes, 2 memory locations. Yes, here are the 2 bytes. For Y, 1, 2, 4, 3, and 1, 2, 4, 4. 2 memory locations, 2 bytes are allocated. Char C, comma, star Z. C is a character variable, therefore how many memory, how many memory locations are required? One memory location, one byte. Yes, it is allocated at 1, 2, 4, 8. Next, char star z. Z is a character pointer, only two bytes. Yes, two bytes are allocated for z at 1, 2, 3, 6 and 1, 2, 3, 7. Now you know about the memory locations for the variables and the corresponding pointers. Now, what is the address of A? See, A is stored a is allocated the memory at 1, 2, 4, 6 and 1, 2, 4, 7. What is the address of A? Is it 1, 2, 4, 6 and 1, 2, 4, 7 or only 1, 2, 4, 6? It is only 1, 2, 4, 6. Meaning, address of A means we only tell the address of the first memory location, not both the memory location. So, it is not 1, 2, 4, 6 and 1, 2, 4, 7. It is only 1, 2, 4, 6 because we store the address of the first memory location. Now, similarly, what is the address of X? 1, 2, 3, 4, yes. What is the address of uh, B? 1, 2, 3, 8, yes. 1, 2, 3, 8. What is the address of Y? 1, 2, 4, 3, yes. It is 1, 2, 4, 3. What is the address of C? 1, 2, 4, 8, yes. 1, 2, 4, 8. What is the address of Z? 1, 2, 3, 6. Yes, that's what it is. We just tell the uh, starting address of the memory location. Yes. Next, again we will consider the same uh, uh, the chunk of memory and we will take the declarations a and uh, star x both integer, 2 bytes are allocated for a, yes 2 bytes are allocated for a, 2 bytes are allocated for x, yes 2 bytes are allocated for x, 4 bytes are allocated for b, yes 4 bytes are allocated for b, 2 bytes are allocated for y, yes, next 1 byte is allocated for c, and 2 bytes are allocated for Z. Yes. Now, see here, how to assign pointers to variables. Meaning, int a comma star x, it means a is an integer variable and x is an integer pointer. That's all. But x, will it contain the address of a? No. Automatically, x will not contain the address of a. How to make x, integer pointer x, to contain the address of integer variable a? Using ampersand, using ampersand, yes, x is equal to ampersand, a, yeah. it means x, please contain the address, please store the address of a yeah. in English, x, 
Please store the address of A. What is the address of A? 1246. Therefore, X should contain 1246. Yes, X will contain 1246. Next, Y is equal to ampersand B. In English, Y, please store the address of B. What is the address of B? 124, 1238. Address of B is 1238. That should be stored in Y. Yes, Y will contain 1238. Next, Z is equal to address of C. Ampersand C meaning address of C. Z, please store the address of C. What is address of C? 1248. So, 1248 should be stored in Z. Yes, 1248 is stored in Z. This is how using upper ampersand operator, we assign the pointers to the variables. Next, A is initialized to 10. Therefore, A should contain 10. B is 3.14. Therefore, float variable B will contain 3.14. Next, C is equal to character M. Yes, C will contain M. Simple. Nothing difficult. Next, again, we will consider the same chunk of memory. Yes. Starting from 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, consider the declaration int A, comma, star PA. A is an integer variable. Two bytes are located. Yes. PA is an integer pointer. Two bytes are located. Yes. For B, four bytes are located. Yes. For PB, it is a float pointer, 2 bytes are located, yes. For C, 1 byte is allocated. PC is a character pointer, therefore 2 bytes are allocated. Yes, memory allocations for all these variables and pointers are done. Now, PA is equal to ampersand A, meaning PA, please store the address of A. What is the address of A? 1246, therefore PA will contain 1246. PB is equal to ampersand B, meaning PB. Please store the address of B. What is the address of B? 1238. So, 1238 should be stored in PB. PC is equal to ampersand C, meaning PC. Please contain the address of C. Please store the address of C. What is the address of C? 1248. So, 1248 should be stored in PC. Yes, it is stored. And A is equal to 10. Yes, A is equal to 10. B is equal to 3.14. Yes. C is equal to character M. Yes. Same thing. Now, carefully understand, we are printing, what we are printing, A, B, C, and also for integers, you know, the format specifier, percentage D, float percentage F, and character percentage C. So, the values of A, B, C will be printed, that is 10, 3.14, and M. Very simple printf statement. Now, here, percentage U, percentage U means, U stands for unsigned integer. See, whenever you are displaying addresses, you have to use U. Because addresses are not signed integer, they are unsigned integer. Address cannot be, can you have negative address in the memory? No. Address will always be positive, meaning unsigned. Therefore, wherever you are displaying addresses, whenever you are displaying the values of the pointers, we have to use U, percentage U. So, what is the content of PA now? PA will contain 1, 2, 4, 6. What is the content of PB? 1, 2, 3, 8. What is there in PC? 1248. Yes. 1246, 1238, and 1248. That will be printed. Next printf statement. Now, we are again storing the addresses only, but you, we are using ampersand A. Ampersand A means address of A. What is address of A? 1246. Ampersand B means address of B. What is address of B? 1238. Ampersand C means address of C. What is address of C? 1248, yes. Again, same values 1246, 1238, and 1248 are printed. Next, again, we are printing addresses only, percentage U. Address of PA. First, address of PA. What is address of PA? Not the content of PA. Content of PA is 1246. What is address of PA? 1234. Ampersand PB. What is address of PB? 1243. What is address of PC? 1, 2, 3, 6. You can just see here again. What is address of PA? 1, 2, 3, 4. What is address of PB? 1, 2, 4, 3. What is address of PC? 1, 2, 3, 6. Yes. Now, how to access variable values using the corresponding pointers? Using pointers, how to display? Now, using star. For that, we have to use star. Let us take an example here. Printf. Percentage D, percentage F, percentage C, star PA. What is the meaning of star PA? Meaning you have to print 
the content of the address stored in PA. What is stored in PA? 1246. What is stored in 1246? 10. Therefore, 10. Similarly, star PB. Content of the address stored in PB. What address is stored in, 1, 2, 1, 2, in PB? 1238. So, what is the content of 1238? 3.14. Yes, 3.14 is displayed. Star PC, meaning content of the address stored in PC. So, what is the address stored in PC? 1248. What is the content of 1248? M. So, M is printed. So, three values are printed. 10, 3.14 and M. Same thing, using star. Meaning, using pointers how to display the value. This example demonstrates that. I think this much information about the pointers is enough to understand the concept of linked list. You see, pointers, double star is there. A lot of other things are there with respect to the pointers. My intention in this video is not to cover the, con the complete pointers, just pointers that is enough to understand the concept of linked list.